Hello and welcome to Finnish with Anna. You'll learn Finnish here in short, palatable lessons with a native speaker. In this video, we'll look at verb types in Finnish, Suomen verbityypit. Verbs are naturally a big topic, so in this video, I'll give you a general presentation of the verb types in Finnish and how to use them with pronouns. There are six verb types in Finnish, although sometimes types 4 and 6 are combined, resulting in five types. Each verb has a basic form, or the so-called dictionary form. This is the form you will find in the dictionary when searching for the word. When you use pronouns with the verbs, the verbs get suffixes. These are mostly the same in all six verb types. However, the word stems change, just like with cases. You can find links with more information in the description box. Type 1 is quite easy. These verbs have a basic form that ends in two vowels. For example, sanoa, meaning say, laskea, meaning many things, for example, count, set down, decline and lower and istua, meaning sit. How to get the verb forms used with pronouns then? You need to remove the last vowel and then add the suffix. And I've marked the suffixes with red in the examples below. With han or se, you need to double the last vowel. Here is an example verb. Sit, istua. I sit, minä istun, you sit, sinä istut, she or he or it sits, han or se istuu, we sit, me istumme, you sit, te istutte, they sit, he istuvat. So let's repeat this. Minä istun. Sinä istut. Hän istuu. Se istuu. Me istumme. Te istutte. He istuvat. Good. In type 2, we have verbs whose basic form ends in de a or de a. For example, juoda meaning drink, käydä meaning visit, and syödä meaning eat. So how to get the verb forms used with pronouns? You need to remove de a or de a from the end and add the suffix. With han or se, don't add anything. My example here is eat, syödä. Minä syön, sinä syöt, han or se syö, me syömme, te syötte, he syövät. Here you can see a slight difference in the suffix for they eat, he syövät. Usually, the suffix for they is v-a-t, but here it is v-a-t. So let's repeat this. Minä syön. Sinä syöt. Hän syö. Se syö. Me syömme, te syötte, he syövät. Great. Type 3 verbs end in two consonants and either a or a in their basic form. For example, menna meaning go. Kävellä, meaning walk, and tulla, meaning come. So how to get the verb forms used with pronouns? 
you need to remove the last consonant and the vowel, so the last two letters, and then you add the letter E, and then you add the suffix. With han or se, you need to double the letter E. The example verb here is walk, cavella. First, we remove the last two letters and we get cavel. Then we add the letter E and we get cavele. And then we add the suffixes. So, mina cavelen, sina cavelet, han cavele, se cavele, me cavelemme, te cavelette. He cavelevat. You may have noticed that this one also has the V A T suffix. So let's repeat this. Mina cavelen. Sina cavelet. Han cavele. Se cavele. Me cavelemme. Te cavelette. He cavelevat. Nice. Type 4 includes verbs whose basic form ends in ata, ata, ota, uta, or uta. For example, avata meaning open, herata meaning wake up, and haluta meaning want. How to get the verb forms used with pronouns then? Remove te a or te a from the end and add the letter a or a. Generally speaking, if the basic form of the verb has the letter a, like herata, wake up, then you would also choose the letter a here. Otherwise, you would choose the letter a. After this, add the suffix and with han or se, double the letter a or a. This time, I have two example verbs, want, haluta, and Wake up, herata. Mina haluan. Mina heraan. Sina haluat. Sina heraat. Hän haluaa. Or se haluaa. Hän herää. Or se herää. Me haluamme. Me heräämme. Te haluatte, te heräätte. He haluavat, he heräävät. And here you can see both the suffixes v a t and v a t. So let's repeat this. Minä haluan. Minä herään. Sinä haluat. Sinä heräät. Hän haluaa. Se haluaa. Hän herää. Se herää. Me haluamme. Me heräämme. Te haluatte, te heräätte, he haluavat, he heräävät. Good. Verbs in type 5 have a basic form that ends in either ita or Ita. For example, valita 
meaning choose, tarvita, meaning need, and merkita, meaning mark. How to get the verb forms used with pronouns? You need to remove te a or te a from the end, and then you need to add te as e, and after that add the suffix. With han or se, double the letter e. My example verb is choose, valita. Mina valitsen, sinä valitset, hän valitsee, se valitsee, me valitsemme, te valitsette, he valitsevat. So let's repeat this. Minä valitsen. Sinä valitset. Hän valitsee. Se valitsee. Me valitsemme. Te valitsette. He valitsevat. Great. Now, type 6 verbs are probably the most difficult because the word stems change in different ways. This has to do with a phenomenon called astevaihtelu, consonant gradation in English. I've put a link in the description box explaining it further. These verbs have a basic form that ends in either eta or eta. For example, paeta meaning flee or escape, lammeta meaning warm up or to become warmer, and vanheta meaning age or to grow older. With paeta you remove eta so that you have pa. Then you add kene so that you have pa kene. And then you add the appropriate suffix. With vanheta you remove te a so that you have vanhe. And then you add an e so that you have vanhene. And then you add the suffix. So here are my examples. Paeta, meaning flee and escape, or vanheta, meaning age or to grow older. Minä pakenen, minä vanhenen. Sinä pakenet, sinä vanhenet. Hän pakenee, se pakenee. Hän vanhenee, se vanhenee. Me pakenemme, me vanhenemme. Te pakenette, te vanhenette. He pakenevat, he vanhenevat. In general, type 6 verbs that have a vowel before eta or eta need kene plus suffix. And verbs that have a consonant before eta or eta need an e plus suffix. But remember that there are always exceptions to pretty much every rule. So let's repeat this. Minä pakenen. Minä vanhenen. Sinä pakenet. Sinä vanhenet. Hän pakenee. Se pakenee. Hän vanhenee. Se vanhenee. Me pakenemme. Me vanhenemme. 
te pakenette. Te vanhenette. He pakenevat. He vanhenevat. Nice. That was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Kiitos kun katsoit. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Nähdään ensi kerralla. See you next time. Moikka!